Hey everybody, welcome back. We are here. We're saving people. People are, you know, not being saved. Some people are getting Set. denied entry. Just like the club when you're too young. Except that in this situation, it's a little bit worse. Uh, okay, so our constant problems of like, well, how are we going to save all these people? Um, continue to exist. Uh, critical guy here, serious person here, probably not going to make it. So let's deny him. Looks like that may have saved that guy's life, but who knows? We'll put you here, and we'll put you here. Uh, what were the bandage costs? That's something I should have considered. Yeah, I mean, four bandages for a higher rank is pretty good. This guy's decent, and, you know, I hate to say it, but... Not everyone's gonna be awesome, okay? Not everyone's great. Alright. Rehab center, what do we have? We've got some military power happening there. Uh, in terms of... Yeah, we need, we just need people... We just need people in there. I actually also need to fulfill HQ requests and stuff. So we can get uh, more surgeons. That would actually be so nice. Speaking of, I believe that is our new physician. And you'll see them here in the trauma ward. Peter Stevens. So uh, he's going to be chilling. Unfortunately, he can't do surgery or anything like that. That's a bummer. But it is what it is. Operation was successful. Okay. I also requested a scout team. And I believe, yeah, we have the scout team coming in at 1016. So that's nice. Operation was successful. A couple of successful operations there. Let's manage our nursing squad. I think if I could change one thing in this playthrough so far, I probably wouldn't have gone to the shift system as quickly. Just considering that, um, you know, we're not really utilizing that yet. We, it's, we kind of... I kind of like to have things running 24-7. But, you know, it's not always possible. Let's do a quick overview here. We have two medics at the casualty clearing. Nurses are fine. Engineers are building the distillery and making uh, bandages, which we need to keep up. So I'm okay with that. I'm hoping I can... I'm hoping we can unlock another surgeon. That, that would be ideal. As a reminder, that's in here. I need to build the surgery ward enhancement. So I need uh, four requisition papers. And then, of course, I need to hire the surgeon. And I believe there are five now. Yeah, that's that's crazy. But think about the... Think about... Think about how beautiful that would be for this. Like, these guys are just working like dogs. And they're just getting... They just... You're getting denied. Sorry, buddy. Uh, man, I almost feel like I should, I should, I feel like I should be more ruthless than I am. Okay. But there is a part of me that's like, oh, they're people. They're like, you know. Hello, sir. Let me introduce myself. Here's our My scout. My name is Lieutenant Isaac Hopper from the Australian Imperial Force. I have orders to report to Major Wells. That will be me, Lieutenant. Let me welcome you to our hospital. It's my pleasure to be here, sir. If I may say, sir, what are my orders? Straight to the Get point, scouting. Eh? Very well, then. We are receiving intel from HQ, but it's only limited to the German attacks in no man's land. We need you and your men to be our eyes and ears outside this town. Understood, sir. Then, when you have time, please join me in the scout tent, sir. Okay. So we may discuss the next step over the situation map. Casualty clearing is currently overloaded. Not great. Not great. Sending scout teams to missions can be done by using the global map. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you're not going to make it. Sorry. Sorry. You need to go here. We'll see what happens. I'm going to let this rest finish, and then you're going to go here. Okay. All right, so uh, let's check the scouting here. So we have Thomas Hall. And if we go inside the scout tent, this basically takes us to this world map. Okay, here's our, our base. And there's a couple of things that are out here. Smoke can be seen south of the hospital. We've got HQ issued a wanted poster for a deserted French medical officer. That's kind of interesting. Some civilians have reported seeing a suspicious cart on the road. Uh, and then we have the forest wraith 
Scout team discovered, well, masked, but often repetitive human traces that suggest someone is traveling that route every day, thinking maybe German spies. Let's do um, the French medical officer here, and we'll assign them to that. So how this works is they're going to go out, they're going to do that, and it takes, we got this little bar over here for our scouts. You can see them heading out there. Bye. Distillery is done. Okay, so distillery... Where was that? Production, right? Uh, right here. So that unlocks alcohol production. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, let me get out of there. If I go to engineering, now I have a space for uh, alcohol production. The challenge here is like, yes, I do want to do that. Okay? And I, I'll probably put this engineer in there because I need him for a slot anyways. And then... We'll just slowly build up alcohol over time, and it will be slow for now. But uh, once we get more engineers, then beautiful. We'll make that happen. Uh, we're going to keep going into HQ requisition forms because our combat is pretty solid. God, this is getting bad in here. This is getting bad. Okay, so you're critical. I'm going to move these around a bit. That's going to... That's going to be too long for you, hey? Interesting. Very interesting. These guys are stable. We'll put them in here for now. I'm surprised. I am surprised. What if I put you here? And we lose this guy. The thing is... Oh, man. Hmm, <laughs> I'll deny. And you're just not going to make it, period, it looks like. That's weird. Unless you're here, maybe. And then you pass. You could go there, and then you're not going to make it. If we do something like that, I mean, at a glance, it kind of looks okay. This guy is critical. He's worth, like, his... Uh, I, here's something I actually want to confirm, okay? So this patient... Uh, Bohai Cow. I'm going to write that down. So Cow is a two rank, okay? And this guy is Watts. He's a three. So I want to see if that, in fact, correlates with the outcome at the rehab center. So when these guys start coming back to work because they're resting right now, uh, we can check into that. Cow and Watts. Because that's always just been my theory. Now, to gain insight into events around the hospital, gather resources and explore. Fine. Some missions unlock depots on the map that can provide additional resources over time. Getting resources from depots requires the truck garage improvement. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Um, we can get military drafts or staff permits for this stuff. Squads of soldiers specially trained for recon can be sent out. Yep, got it. Okay, deadly. Okay, deadly. And those trucks, that's actually in here. Provides a truck that can be sent to depots in the scout map. Increases the number of trucks by one. Sir, patient is cured. Okay, good. How much longer in this rest time, surgeons? Let's go. Two doctors are waiting for assignments? Oh, no they're not. They are sleeping. Sir, doctor is starting in Here we go. Bring them in. Clear them out. Okay, so we do actually have somebody in the trauma ward here. It's three pills. It's eight hours. I mean, this guy's not doing anything. Three pills. Let's let's get it going. That's nice. It would be kind of cool if those trauma surgeons could be used as as surgeons. I guess they're not surgeons. But if they could be used as surgeons at like a reduced capacity or something, it would be kind of nice, I think. Uh, how are my engineers doing? I've been pumping. They've been working hard. We'll put that guy in for alcohol production. Okay. Seth, engineers reached the engineering depot. Send soldiers worth combat power to the trenches. So dispatch from HQ. They want us to send more soldiers to the trenches. Okay, so I need to send 18 Oh, that's a lot. I just want to, I just want requisitions. But 
I need those permits. So we're gonna we're gonna change this. Okay, we're gonna make HQ happy. That's the goal. Uh, Cow and Watts are the ones that we were tracking. Cow is in here. Watts is in here. Bilky's the trauma patient. I got a problem here. These guys are exhausted. We'll swap them out. We'll swap our nurse out. Our swapping seems to be great right now. We we are we, it's working. Oh, that was. Oh, somehow we completed that immediately. Uh, I thought it said we needed like 18 combat points worth. Maybe it was like maybe that's some type of weird hidden total. Here we go. This is interesting. So Angus has requested the soldiers receive additional food rations. He says it's them, after all, who fight the enemy and suffer the most. Here's the thing. If I don't do anything, nothing changes. I don't need a morale boost right now. 65 is insane. Um, so I'm going to deny, and I'll just let that expire. Now, we do have something happening here. So the medicine prepared for the operation may be contaminated. Since it could endanger the patient's life, I'd like to recommend discarding the prepared dosage and making a new batch. If I do this, it increases the uh, the difficulty. If I if I do this, it doubles or it makes the uh, increased cost so plus ten. I'm gonna say just make it more difficult because we are we have a huge queue of people to get through. So yeah. Uh, so we're going to set your rest there. We're going to set your rest there. And we'll queue up. Ooh. Okay, so he's deteriorating a little faster because of the... Um, because of the severity of the wound. <laughs> this guy... <laughs> this guy's never getting in, is he? I don't think so. And you can only queue a maximum of six. I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll try. We'll try. Amputating. And I'm just doing this to, like, these little guys are just giving us subtle little morale boosts over time. Uh, feels good. I don't know if the math maths very well on that, but it does seem to operate like that, so. Okay, let's check in on Cal when they get transferred to the rehab center here. So, cow is a 2 rating. And here, there are 2. Okay, so that's consistent. That's good. I'm also going to take this person out now and put it back here. Since we've met that. And check this out. We finally have a level up. That's what that symbol means. This is nice. So, this is actually for the, um, the medic team. So, Lionel Foster is, I guess, we'll say the leader. Okay. So, there's four things we can pick. They perform better at the ADS, the Advanced Dressing Station, which he's not at currently. Uh, works significantly better when working with others. So that's if you put two medic teams together, not just the fact that he's in a medic team, because that's how it is. Ambitious, they just work significantly better. And funny, others working with them perform better. I think out of this group, Ambitious seems like the best option, right? And so now, um, I do wish there was an easier way to see this. But if we look at our medic teams here, this is where you can see their traits, okay? So Lionel Foster, this medic team together, they both just work significantly better. So yeah, cool, we're happy about that, right? I think that's fine. Everything here is looking good. Doctors are operating. Yep, we're cool. Zen, okay, so we have, oh yeah, Bilky is, um, Bilky is the trauma. Denied, so we have a small reduction there. If this starts hitting down to like, you know, 45, 40s, then I'm a bit more concerned, but like we're pretty solid right now. Okay. Sir, the initial diagnosis was incomplete and it turned out the amount of shell shrapnel in the patient's body is far greater than previously thought. It's a miracle that he's still alive. The chances of saving him are drastically lower than anticipated. So the difficulty goes up. Oh, wait, actually. The doctor's energy usage is going to go up considerably and the chance of the procedure being unsuccessful goes up a bit. We could abort it. Uh, what's the patient card here? Uh, sergeant. Hmm. Let's try and save him. We'll see what we can do. 
Okay, so we're up to three of the hiring points now. All right. This is the scouts thing. Scouts find tracks and traces of bandages. They lead to a village that seems to have been bombed by German aircraft. Men from the village work to recover what they can from destroyed buildings, but their exhaustion is visible even from afar. Understandably, the villagers are quite entrusting of the scouts, or untrusting. When questioned with about the French deserter, the village mayor denies seeing anyone, but the scout commander notices uneasiness in his behavior. So we can try to coerce the mayor for more information. This is not a very humane thing to do, which impacts our meter at the top. And I'm being transparent here. I don't I don't know what implications that has over the course of the game. How our kind of ruthlessness versus, you know, being a good boy matters. Or help the villagers with their work. They'll help the villagers with the repairs. This will take 10 hours while working. Scouts may hear some rumors or gently question some of the villagers during casual conversations. Let's do that. So now you can see the scout team's busy for... 10 hours. Sir, patient is cured. Yeah. Here we go, baby. So we're just going to build up some requisitions. Uh, what are the next camp improvements we're going to want? The surgery ward, but we can probably just wait until we know we're going to get some hiring points there. That being said, there's also some nice, like, surgery um, benefits here, like the electromagnet, which we saw in one of those things that we couldn't use. There's also stuff here. More slots for medic teams. Speed of patient condition deterioration at the advanced dressing station. Uh, I kind of like this. I do kind of like that. Maybe I could improve the rooms here so that we could hire more medics and stuff. But again, I don't want to hire anything until we get another surgeon, if I can. So maybe we focus on production. Engineering unlocks two food production. So we could get that ramped up a little bit. But we need engineers for that stuff. That's the, that's the thing, right? Decrease production cost in resources by 10% at the engineering depot and the pharmacy. So that makes these last a little bit longer. And then we do have the... Uh, the truck if we find a depot. Store more stuff. Production speed at these places. You know what? I think that's pretty decent. Let's do that. Pharmacy and engineering both increase production speed. Uh, we'll take the guy out of engineering to do that work. It's reached the construction site. Let's take a look here. How are these guys doing? They're doing okay. If I move the rest to here and the rest to here, it looks like that's fine, but we'll keep an eye. Denied admission. Sir, so we're at 62. Sir, we lost this patient. We lost one. Okay. So now, hold on. We got people tired Sir. here. Oh boy. Something's happening. Two exhausted nurses. Uh, let's take out of the operating ward, go to rehab. Jack, give them no quarter. Okay, I think that's... Is that this? Yeah. It does feel like there's a situation in this game where if you can get so far behind that it's almost Sir, we have wounded unrecoverable. Okay, these are both good. Let's put you here. Sir, operation was successful. Good. So cow is in there, Bilky. Sir, nurses And I think Watts out. is the one that died, unfortunately, the one that we were tracking. Waiting for burial. Yeah, Watts died. If we want to track another one, just so that we know, uh, let's say Buffton here is a rank three. So let's do that. I'm just writing it down. We'll keep our eye on it. Patient is cured. Okay, nurses are back and ready. Back to the operating ward there. And let's go... 
Hmm. I think rehab's fine. Casualty clearing there. Sir, medics are on the way. Money, 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 money. Money. And we have a lot of time between this next attack and this one. Denied, so we're down to 61. You can see how this can this can change pretty quick. So our production has now increased. That's nice. What else might we want? Production costs. You know what? Let's do it. He's tired, but it's fine. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. Scouting done in four hours. Sir, so, so here's Buffton, and Buffton is worth three. So that all of that continues to check out. I was just double checking my my work on those to make sure that I was on the right page. Here's a bonus. So decreased cost or shorter rehab. I feel like getting the shorter rehab is nice. It's just it just gets us our resources so much faster. I'm going to do that. Um, if I was in dire straits for bandages and stuff, yeah, sure. That makes sense. But we're not currently in dire straits. That's where the high precision weights are being installed. I think we have our guys resting now. Yep. So these guys... Um, sucks, but I don't think they're going to make it. What if I put you here? Okay. Okay. Potentially, we can save that. He is worth a lot. I think we're just going to deny you. Or, let's maybe do this. Amputate. We can move him up and amputate it just so that it's like... It gets done. It's quicker. It's cheaper. We'll do the same here. And we'll just get small uh, morale benefits there. Tired, resting... Lon Griffiths, is that this guy? Yeah, okay. I don't suppose I could push that. Nah, we'll keep him. Okay, we're gonna get plus eight here right away, which is super nice. Patient is cured. I like having some extra stores of these resources too, because if HQ asks, then, you know, nice. French deserter. Scout team offers to help with the repairs. The village mayor is surprised at first, but knowing the exhaustion of his people is grateful for any help. Untrusting at first, the villagers warm up to the scouts after a couple hours. After a day's worth of work, most of the buildings that could be repaired are mostly fixed. Thanks to the scouts' help, the work was finished faster than anticipated. Comparing rumors and things overheard during conversations, the scouts discovered that in recent days, there were some lights and movements spotted in a nearby abandoned church that could be worth investigating. Okay, so now if we go to our scouts, is this the church? Yeah, so let's go check that out. We'll Sir, follow that thread. A new if that's going to take a while. You can see the, Sir, the distance to cover there. Okay, oh boy, yeah. <sighs> Chemical warfare has begun. Germans started dropping gas on our trenches! I need you to heal my man, Major. As fast... Okay, I, I know what they're, they're gonna ask for. We do have that trauma ward. As you can. I cannot protect the trenches with so... And so let's bring in the uh, physician now for dealing with chemical wounds. It's free. And we're going to wait for another surgeon here. Still. Of you. I understand, Lieutenant Colonel. I'll do all that I can. First, they bombard our people with artillery, and now they spray us with gas. I fear what more awaits us. I so now we're at too few combat, as you can see. I will notify our staff, sir. So surgery ward, I got some serious. This guy's. This is not uh, worth saving. I hate to say it, and you are a maybe. We'll see. If we can knock that out quickly. Sure. We need to be ready. It's cured. Okay, patient's cured. 
Beautiful. I did I did put somebody into the uh, the trenches there to help our combat power, which we'll have to do a little bit more of here, it seems. Yeah, patient is cured. So he's going out to those trenches, but we're going to need more. I'm actually, yeah, since our rehab you. center is currently empty, I'm going to uh, stack these nurses here. Sir, nurses are on the way. Jeffrey Shilton, stable. Let's go there. Sir, nurses reached the hospital. Sir, so the benefit of that is that the these guys will degrade slower if we have two nurses here. And uh, having two in the surgery center means that uh, the chances of success are much higher. Let's move you there. These guys are relatively cheap, all things considered. Let's uh, move them up here. This feels honestly a bit wasteful to do even anything here, considering we don't need the morale. These are going to be morale hits. But because these guys have such high ranks, I think we're just going to readjust a bit. I'll maybe keep this guy in. Depends. All of this is dependent on what comes in, right? Those are the, That's the thing. It's like we can make a plan and it changes 10 seconds later because a whole bunch of extra patients come in. New patient arrived. He's serious. He's not going to last. All right. See ya. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Let's go, doc. Bring him a patient to work on. All right. Ooh. Operation was surprisingly easy. Allowed the operating team to gain more faith in their skills. So this is going to become... Uh, Okay, so they're going to go from four stars to zero on the energy usage, and morale is going to increase. Hell Sir, yeah, Doc. May I inform you that I left a personal recommendation note with oh one of the patients who was recently brought to the casualty clearing station? Okay, Kumar, I got you. I got you. So this is a VIP. So this, this needs to get handled. Uh, he's expensive. He's not worth a ton, but it is what it is. If we were to help him recover, I'd be able to convince him to join our hospital... And put his mind and skills to work as an engineer. Ooh. Deadly. Yes. Okay. So, let's... Okay. Uh, how am I going to do this? You're going to get bumped for now. I'll put you... Put you here for now. Okay. And then when this gets cleared out, we can handle this situation. You're currently getting operated on. You're up next. This looks fine to my eyes. With the VIP there. So, let's do it. Patient arrived. Extremely exhausted at the cemetery. Let's bring you over. Nurse as well. Take a break. Sir, medics are on the way. We're just going to let that sit there for a sec. Any upgrades I might want here? Oh, do I even have... I don't have this going anymore, do I? I have an engineer just chilling. So that's an option. Or I could maybe get into some scouting. You know what? Let's do this. Take you out of engineering, you can do one of those upgrades for us. Sir, we'll buff our scout teams a bit. Sir, operation was accepted. Cemetery's tired. Sir, medics are on the way. Ooh, somebody's in serious condition here. Okay, Kale. Oh, these guys are all rough. 
they're all not worth a lot either. So we're going to deny. Looks like Jeffrey might need to push him up a bit here. But Louis should be getting operated on shortly. Where's my doctors at? There, Bluey's in. Thing is, I got I got people resting, right? So they can't move patients around as fast. And I do also need some combat power here. And I need a nurse at the rehab center now. Let's shuffle these around to get... Uh, you know what? Actually... I'm going to keep, just because we have so many patients in the casualty clearing, we're going to keep two in there. Keep one at the rehab. Based on those assignments, looks like we'll be good, so I might throw another one in as well. All right, now I have to shift this around. Let's see how this goes with a nurse there. We got the scout team improvement. Let's go in here and grab uh, dogs now. You don't need sleep. Sir, operation was successful. Morale's at 54, so it has dropped quite a bit. I'm going to move one of these engineers over to that to get the alcohol production. Serious. If we rest there, that patient dies. I'll tell you what. Let's amputate this guy so it's faster. And then you can rest after this. And then we'll still get a nice buff to morale because um, things are happening. Who's the guy? Who's the? Where's the VIP? Oh, I think he's in one of these. Yeah, so this is the staff VIP now. So that's cool. That just happens automatically. And we'll get an engineer there. And then if I put this guy in, you notice... I don't know if you saw, but I think that changed right away. So we'll keep that. Yeah. Looks like we had a breakthrough here. Couple of options. Amputate, no longer fit for duty if we do that, which is f okay. We get a morale boost. But here I get shorter rehab, small increase in cost, decreasing the chance of the procedure failing. I think that seems like a win. We cleared out most of those overages, which feels really nice. How are my nurses looking? Good. Let's go back to casualty clearing, I think. Make sure those teams stay alive. You go back to the cemetery. Work 24 hours. Sir, medics are on the way. 53% morale. Okay, another breakthrough. Hell yeah. Let's go shorter rehab. Again. We should see a, we should see a surgeon get a perk relatively Sir, soon. Having that extra engineer is going to be dope too. That's going to be very nice. And we didn't even have to spend hiring points on it. It's massive. So dogs assigned to scout teams will help with tracking and pathfinding, significantly decreasing traverse time. Set. New patient arrived. So if I remember correctly, we can't assign the dogs. So see in here, uh, this is our, our team. We can't assign any dogs right now because they have to be in the camp in order to do that. This also shows what these guys are carrying. So as a result of their missions, they might have a bunch of stuff. We have to bring them back. Um, so anyways, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens in about 40 minutes and then probably bring them home and add the dogs. The ruined church approaching the abandoned church scouts spot movement and lights inside stealthily. The team enters through old partially destroyed doors inside. They see a man in a German officer's uniform lying on some stretchers near the altar with a deserter. French officer tending to his wounds. French medic surrenders immediately. Confronted about his desertion, he explains that the German officer was a prisoner of the Duxiem Bureau, which ruthlessly interrogated the German and forbade tending to his wounds. 
Unable to stand by idly, the French medic decided he would take the German and try to reach the British HQ to give themselves up in the hopes of better treatment. He explains that he hid here when the state of the prisoner worsened in an attempt to stabilize him. Seems like actually a good guy. The scout's orders are clear there to take the French officer back to HQ. However, there's no mention of the German prisoner. <laughs> High probability the German prisoner will be returned to the Bureau for further interrogation, which sucks. But I need those. I need those hiring points. Let's go. Sir, scout's unit has started a new mission. We need that, baby. So that means, okay, so that means I am going to have enough for a surgeon, which means we're going to go here now and improve the surgery ward. Uh, so let's get you there. And I'll take you out too, just to speed that up a little bit to make sure that that's available in time. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. Uh, you're ready, so you can just uh, go. Sir, Peace out. Patient is cured. Cash monies. Maybe I could have taken a morale buff there, because, again, we have dropped about 15, 17% from 65, right? Sir, operation was successful. Sir, nurses are on the way. Make that. 18%. Oh, what's this? Important job. Person knocks on the door of your office and enters a moment later. Sir, I'm working with this person, Jean-Pierre White, and he is irritating. All he does is tell me again and again how important it is what we do, but he ends up working less, and that pisses me off. The tone of the person gets more and more angry. I'm sorry, sir. They speak lowering their voice, but could you do something about this, please? So we can tell them to just focus on their work, or we can say... Focus on methods of raising productivity. Huh. Inspiration will eventually come from their words. Inspiration should come from their words. Or from their effort. Yeah, sure. Let's say try to focus on raising productivity. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we get like a morale boost in a while or something. Sir, patient is cured. Alright. I do have somebody in the trauma ward. Not worth a lot. Honestly. So, I'm going to deny, only because our resources are so low. And we are getting through all of these patients. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how well that's gone for us. Sir, patient is cured. See ya. This was uh, the VIP. This was somebody who was uh, amputated. How long in that VIP joining? A day? Like... What is taking so long? Wait, what's the name? Baluey. Yeah, holy crap, that's a long one. That's what she said. I'm 12, by Sir, the way. Patient is cured. Sir, nurses are on the way. Give our nurse a bit of a break there. Sir, Sir doctor is going we to lost rest. this patient. I'm pretty sure this means we're gonna get a bunch of soldiers coming in here. Doctor is starting a new shift. Okay, we have a tired nurse there too now. Um, let's put you in the operating Death. ward. Are on the way. That all seems fine. We don't have a huge backlog or anything. Sir, nurses reached the hospital. So I think in order of, of priority here, we're gonna go an extra surgeon, then nurses. We should get an engineer from this rehab. That's that's my priority Sir, in terms of hiring. May I inform you that I left a personal recommendation oh note with one of the patients who was recently. I'm sure you did. The chemical ward. Okay. Well, two VIPs, Jonathan Clare and Lucian Clare. All right, Janet. What do you want here? They are twins who have served the entire war as a medic team. I ask you to consider treating them both as they seemed nigh inseparable, and I personally feel that letting one of them die would be a great cruelty. I'm sure that once treated, they could be assigned to our hospital staff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much do they cost? Four and four? Done. Done. Long, long operations, but uh, say less. The casualty clearing station. Say less. I wonder if I should order some supplies here. 
order some trauma supplies. Thing is, they're so expensive. But like, we're low, right? I'll order some. Until we can get our production ramped up, it's it's tough. I'm pretty comfortable with the way that our our ramp up has gone so far. Do I wish we had like 10 engineers and Operation was 10 nurses and 10 surgeons? Like, yeah, I do, but that's also not realistic for this point in time. Okay. Fresh nurses. Close to collapsing. Damn. Good thing we caught that. Sir, medics are on the way. I don't look at the cemetery very much, eh? I don't. Wounded in the trenches. So that yeah, medic team's gonna medic be busy. The cemetery. Scout team's gonna be done here yeah, in 30 seconds. Uh, can I maybe look at my engineers? These guys are both resting. <laughs> I'm gonna cut their rest short. I'm gonna bring him in, bring him back. I want that done ASAP because I can't hire this guy until that's done, and we have enough, so I want to make it happen. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go one step further and put all three in there. Get that done in three hours. New patient arrived. Okay, scouts. They're back. So, uh, let's go inside the scout tent. Preview the teams. That's not what I want, actually. Uh, where was it? Assignment. Okay. Add a scout. Oh, wait. That's gonna... Hold on. That's gonna order out of here. I don't want that. We want to add the dogs. I have dogs in camp two. I can add one to this to, to increase the speed. Um, and that's fine for now. That's fine for now. Up here increases... Well, what does this mean? How can I add more of those dogs? I guess the idea is like you're building a kennel, so you want to have more teams. Sending scout teams. So if I hire through there, is that the actual same thing as hiring through here? Because I can't actually, I can't actually hire through here. So I think maybe if I can fill the team from within the scouting tent, that's the way to go. But again, not gonna do it because that's gonna take up some of our hiring points and we're saving that for our momentous occasion. So let's um, let's go here now. Go check this smoke. We'll check some of the places close to us. Although that does not seem very close. Okay, more patients coming in. Stable and good. Very nice. Okay. We can we can take both of those. Baluey, 18 hours. Sir, operation was successful. Nice. Give me all the cash. Put you in rehab. Yeah. Medics are on the way. I lied. We're gonna have to change that. Sir, nurses are on the way. Thank you for being adaptable, as always. Appreciate that. This requisition forms, baby. You know what? Actually, I, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna take nurses one of these. The I'm gonna take this plus three and go to release from duty just to get our morale in a bit of a safer spot. Okay, so that's done, which means I'm immediately going to hire personnel here, adding an extra surgeon. That's going to that's going to be 
very nice. Um, cemetery, need to adjust this. You guys go back there. Engineers are all resting. Uh, you go there, and we'll deal with the rest of them after that. Looks like our nurse here. So, she has extroverted, works less efficiency. Now, I guess we should look through and see if any of them have traits that we have not assigned. Because I think some of them will. Others, perf uh, others working with them perform slightly better, but she works slightly less. Uh, speeds up operations at operating wards. Others working with them tire less. Works significantly better. Morale slightly increases when they work. Yes, I'll take that. And also, we haven't been really considering where they want to work. So you want the eight hours shift them, sift them. I can't even do that. You want to go casualty clearing. No preferences there. And no preferences there. So... This is the only one, but we can we can benefit from that with uh, yeah, our morale also. And that's probably also had an impact. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Sir, operation was successful. When is my uh, guy coming in? Seven oh seven. Beautiful. That should that should keep us afloat in that department and give us a lot of flexibility for quite a while. Good, 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 rest. Okay. Sir, patient is cured. We do need to get our pharmacy going again. Sir, engineers reached the engineering depot. Nice. Sir, new patient arrived. Garth. Garthy. You're going to go here. Only two bandages. Nice. That's one thing I'm kind of not... I'm, I'm looking at their rank more than anything, and I should consider... Okay, if it's a 10 bandage guy, you should probably just amputate him. Regardless of rank. It's just, it's just very expensive. Swap you guys. Now, you want to go casualty clearing. I remember that. So, we'll put you there. And then I'll put you in rehab. Medics are on the way. There's our new doctor. Incredible. Sir, I might even now switch some of this up. Get you there. Get you there and amputate. Something like that is probably good. I'm going to actually bring this guy back to finish this job. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Sir. And improvement wise, let's see. Nutritious rations. Uh, here's the thing I need to get. Yeah, I need to get food production going with some of these engineers. Because we've, we've increased our staff and everything pretty dramatically. Now, I could... I could snag, like, some chemical supplies here, some trauma supplies. Maybe do more chemical there. That's 9 of our 11. And then... Maybe just grab a little extra on the surgical supplies. So, surgical, chemical, and trauma. Sure. Let's go. Spent. Money well spent, I would say. Sir, new patient arrived. Trauma ward? You're only a one. God, I hate I hate to say it, but it's like I don't there's nothing I can do. I can't like amputate or anything in here. So I'm just gonna deny that. And we'll make up for it with some of these on the morale department. Also, hopefully with our working assignments. Ooh, I got somebody critical in there right now. Okay. You're good. That's reasonable. This is the VIP. 
that they should join the hospital staff. So let's try that. Uh, critical here. Let's move you up. And stable. You can go here. One thing I'd like is if you... So if you mark them for amputation, if you move them, it removes that. It'd be nice if that was um, stable. Uh, denying. I'll deny that. Okay. Guys, we're in a pretty good position right now. Let's take a bit of a break. When we come back, uh, we'll continue getting our scout to work, trying to keep up with the upgrades. Uh, we have a big order of supplies coming in just so that we don't get too low. Um, rations are starting to drop a little bit more than I would like. Morale has gone down considerably from the start of the episode, and we'll try to rectify some of that um, with our future decisions. Wish me luck. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.